what is going on guys welcome to your third tutorial in stock analysis through PHP and in this lesson what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be showing you guys how to connect to your database through a PHP file so what I like to do is I like to put it in a separate folder so go to wherever you're working make a new folder and just name it uh, what can we name it name it includes because I don't know how many files we're going to be including in this program but whenever you include something in PHP I like to put it inside a separate include folder so just go ahead and make that right now and now that you have a folder called includes go ahead and open up notepad now hold on let me adjust myself in my seat now what we need to do is we need to create a new blank file so let me go ahead and hit file new and I'm just gonna go ahead and save it right now even though we didn't write anything in it just go ahead and hit file save as and make sure you save this connection file inside your includes folder now just go ahead and name it connect.php and it's gonna save this as a PHP file so go ahead and hit that and you should be good to go so now that we have a connect.php file this is the file that we're gonna be writing all of our connection script into and this is the database information so how do we write a connection script to connect to a database the very first thing we need is of course PHP tags and I just go ahead and I write mine first now we need well we don't need this but we need to use the MySQL connect function and I like to store this inside a variable called connect and go ahead and set this equal to MySQL underscore connect now this MySQL connect function is already built in it takes three parameters the first parameter it takes is the location or pretty much your servers address however since we're gonna put this file directly on our server and we're not connecting to another server we can just use local host that means wherever the script is located use this server now after this what we need is the name of the user that connects to that database and our username is Danielle underscore Sally so remember the first two pieces of information is what server do you want to connect to and what's the user's name now the third and final piece of information if you couldn't have guessed is the password so let me go ahead and just hit this type it in and there you go so in my variable connect I have the name of the server the name of the user and the password and after this we're gonna go ahead and we'll make a simple if statement so what this if statement is gonna do is it's gonna test okay if not connect because this function right here mysql connect it's gonna return a value true or false it's gonna re return true if it could connect to the database so now this variable connect is either gonna be true if it connected or false if it didn't connect oh I got phlegm in my throat pretty gross so if we say okay if not connect in other words if you could not connect to the database then what we want to do is just go ahead and hit die which pretty much uh, kills the script and let me just go ahead and say something like whenever you use die you can put something in between it's kind of like a prompt it will just write could not connect to database with an explanation point in that way whenever we see this on our website it we know that we have an error with connecting to the database and that's another thing a lot of people just use this die but they don't write anything in between and then their website messes up and then they have to look through all their code so guys pro tip make sure you always include a little prompt so now what I want to do is mention this so what we did right here is we connected basically to our server through a user but we didn't select what database we want to work with yet we might have a database for you know this we may have built another website for our friend they may have a database we have a bunch of databases on this server so we need to specify which database we're working with now in order to do that you use a function called my SQL underscore select underscore DB they didn't make you type out database so this takes two parameters the first parameter is what is the name of the database that you want to work with so again what this does is it basically connects to your server and right here we're saying what database we want to work with and this is the YouTube database and the second parameter is your connect 
it's actually just go ahead and write that and it's basically your connection script I want to say I don't know how to say it so basically this is the script that we use to connect to a database and we can go ahead and run this right now and if we look at the uh, what's called the web page connect.php it either says nothing if it worked properly or we get this error message if we couldn't connect however I'm confident so I don't need to test it out that this script is working pretty dang good so after this I'm gonna I didn't think I was gonna have time for this but I want to show you guys this let me go ahead and make a new oh, am I gonna have time for this yeah might as well so I'm gonna go ahead and make a new file and I'm gonna go ahead and save this file as not includes I'm just gonna go ahead and save it in the main directory and I'm gonna call it ticker master uh, dot text that's pretty good so now this is a blank document that I named ticker master why the heck did I do this well I did it because of this what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be giving this program a whole bunch of ticker sig symbols now if you're saying what is a ticker symbol well whenever we look at a stock for a company like Google we don't type in Google whenever you're looking at it online or on you know the Dow or whatever every company has like a one two or three or four um, letter symbol it's like a code for that website I mean excuse me for that company so Google's is G O O G if we type in Yahoo look for that Yahoo's code is Y H O O and this is pretty much what the pros use and what databases use to distinguish companies from each other so go ahead online and look for whatever ticker whatever companies you want to use and make sure you get their ticker just don't type in the word like Netflix or something like that so I already got I don't know five different companies that I'm gonna wanna scan whenever we have our formulas and they're always in capital letters so I'm gonna use Yahoo which is Y H O O, Google which is G O O G Netflix and Apple and Adobe I'm just gonna use five tech companies but if you wanna use one com company that you wanna scan or 500 companies it doesn't matter whatever you wanna test your formula out on put all the companies in a file called tickermaster.txt and make sure that all the tickers are in capitals and make sure you have one per line and this is kinda of gonna be the master file of what companies we want to text and I'll show you guys how to use this file later on so anyways now that we got our connect.php set up you guys can go ahead and test that if you want and also your ticker master which is all the companies we want to test we're ready to move on to the next tutorial so in the next tutorial we're gonna finally be typing some real code. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys then.